Hey everyone, Fred Lam here from My Pro Academy, and today I want to share with you a new update within Facebook on their custom audiences. Now I've been actually waiting for several months for this update to happen, and the minute I found out that it has happened, I quickly want to shoot a video for you and share with you the strategies that I'll use for this new custom audiences. So what you'll learn in this video training is I'm going to share with you the latest update on Facebook's custom audiences that advertisers like you and I can take full advantage of. Secondly, I'm going to share with you the strategies to maximize your ads with the new custom audiences. Now, before we actually go into the new Facebook update, some of you guys may be new to Facebook and you may be wondering what custom audiences are. Well, custom audiences is a list of audiences made up from your existing customer list, your website visits, or triggered a specific event on your website. So you specifically tell Facebook that you want to segment your ads specifically shown to a type of audience that you create. So this is not like you going after the interest targeting or the age, you are creating a type of audience that revolves around either a list of your current customers, anyone that visit your website, or anyone that have done or triggered a specific event on your website. Now, you may advertise through this audience through Facebook and Instagram at the same time. And custom audiences will always help you either with a remarketing campaign or if you're trying to really expand the reach of your ads, you would want to create lookalike audiences based on custom audiences. Now in this video, I'm not gonna talk about lookalike audiences a lot. I'm geared towards talking specifically about custom audiences and the updates that Facebook has done. Now, Facebook made this major update only a few days ago. I logged onto my account and the minute I logged on, I saw a big notice right on top of my Facebook campaign and said, new updates on custom audiences. Now I can't show you the screenshot anymore because I've only alerted it once and I've start using it and start playing around with this custom audiences. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and go into Facebook and share with you what this new update is going to be. So right now I'm actually in my Facebook account under audiences. So if you're in your Facebook account, all you have to do is on the top right, um, click on this button over here. And when you see all tools, just look at audiences. And here, the typical way, all you have to do is just create audience and then click on custom audience. So previously there's just customer list, website traffic and app activity. Now, obviously, if you want to upload your email list, you want to go after the customer list, or if you want to have a specific um, segment of people that visit your website or a specific web page, you will use website traffic. Now, engagement on Facebook is new. And in fact, inside right here, several days ago, they have just launched a custom audience segment based on lead ads. As you all know by now, I am a big fan of lead ads, and in fact, I have a software called Leads Tunnel to help with lead ad and to automate the entire process. So for me, this is a big, big, big improvement and a change inside Facebook that's gonna help me and my business in a very massive way. Now, when I click on lead ad, you will basically have an option. Okay, you can choose the lead form, so whatever lead form you're using, so I'm just gonna randomly choose one right now, and then you can actually choose to include people who opened but didn't submit the form, or people who opened and submitted the form. So these are the two that I would actually create, and I would go back all the way to 90 days and simply name your audiences. So for here, I'm gonna go after people who have opened but didn't submit the form. So people actually is interested in signing up into uh, getting a free report or signing up for a webinar, but they click on the ad and did not even actually give you their email address. So at that point, you can target back those people. 
Now, obviously, for the other option, people who opened and submitted the form are people that actually opt in. Now, the true value of this is really segmenting to two different types of audiences. So here, I'm going to go after uh, people who uh, um, did not uh, people who did not opt in to traffic trilogy. So here, then I can create this audience. And Facebook will actually look for these audience for you and then start to have it updated. So right now I say it's audience too small, but I just created it. So it'll take some time in order for this to happen. Now for any one of you guys that are using lead ads, this is pretty massive because at this point, there are three strategies that you can actually use and leverage off of Facebook with your campaigns. So here are the strategies that I would use. For people who opened this form, okay, they've opened this form but they did not submit, I would actually remarket them with a traditional opt-in page. Now, by doing this, people are still not really into the consumers, are still not seeing or understanding Facebook lead ads yet. They see an opt-in and say, wow, it's great, but they may be wondering, well, I'm used to the old-fashioned way of visiting a landing page. Well, you know what? That's fine because now that person showed you and expressed interest in your ad, either in your free report, your free download, or your webinar, then at that point, they're just not signing up because they don't feel comfortable opting in through Facebook. Well, guess what? When you create a custom audience list with that, you can now simply advertise a traditional opt-in page, so bring them to the landing page and opt in. At this point, your costs will be so much lower because in remarketing, you are only paying for people that express interest. You're not really going after the mass public or the interest targeting or having a conquest campaign. You are specifically going after people who already expressed interest. So this really increases the number of opt-ins while minimizing your costs. Now you do have to make sure if you are using this remarketing strategy, you want to make sure that you exclude the people who submitted the form. So this way, you are only paying for your ads to be shown to the people that express interest, but they did not give you your email address. So that's strategy number one. Now, for the specific segment of people who opened and submitted the form, here are two more strategies that I will do. First one is simply remarket them. So let's say that if you're promoting a webinar, and at that point, guess what? You can promote your replay. You can promote whatever you are trying to sell inside that webinar. Now, if it is a free opt-in or if it's a, sorry, if it's a free ebook or a free download, then at that point, you can drive them to like a video sales letter, pitching about your product or pitching an affiliate product. And again, because these people have already clicked on your ad, gave you their email address, and at that point, you've already seen that they are very interested on what you have to offer, you just wanna remarket them back. Now, strategy number two is very important. You would want to then create a lookalike audiences based on the people that submitted the form. So then at that point, when you're scaling your campaign, you can allow Facebook to start looking for audiences that are similar to the ones that have clicked on your ad, opened up the form, and submitted the form at the same time. And with look like audience, you can really expand your reach and go broader, but at the same time have a safety net to make sure you're minimizing your risk. So this is a major update in my personal opinion with uh, Facebook right now on their custom audience because now since I use a ton of lead ads and I keep talking about and showing you guys how to do lead ads, right now you can actually go ahead and expand your lead ad campaigns. So. That's it for this video, and I hope that you guys understand now how to actually set up your custom audience for your lead ad and start really executing this and start testing these strategies because these are very important stuff for you to do in our advertising world. You want to test it and find the campaigns and find the type of segments that will work for you. All right, so 
before we actually hop off, I also want to say, guys, right below this video, there's going to be a uh, comment box. Comment below and let me know what your thoughts about this training is. And again, I'm dedicated to do more training for you, specifically about advertising. And when there's any new updates, you're going to be the first to know. So for those of you who are not on my email list, be sure to go to www iproacademy.com and put in your email address so you can get the latest and the latest updates and the new discovery that I found that I've tested for advertising online and really apply it for your business. Now, I would also suggest you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because all these video training will be uploaded into YouTube and the ones that are subscribed to my channel will always get the first, um, they will always get be the first to actually watch and listen to all my presentations. All right, so I hope you find this helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.